You want me to give you a rundown of the game mechanics in this game? Sure, I can do that. First off, you have 20 card slots in each deck inside of Pokemon Pocket. So you have you have you have 15 decks you can create as a total. Um, the deck that I was just using, I have is called Insane in the Mem in the Membrane. Um, okay, so let's okay. So this is my deck. You have obviously you know Pokemon have to evolve. Some of them do. Obviously, some of the some of them don't. In this case, this deck revolves around Pokemon that all have to evolve. And in fact, I only have two sets of Pokemon. I have Vulpix and Ninetales, and I have Ponyta and Rapidash. So you cannot call out a, a, you cannot skip the evolutionary chain in this game. You have to go from the beginning to the end. So I have to start with Vulpix and I cannot play Vulpix and then play Ninetales in the same turn. You have to do it turn by turn. If you go first, you get first access to evolutions, but you do not get an energy um, to use on your Pokemon. So if you look at Vulpix right here, you'll notice that Vulpix has a attack. It has Tail Whip. Flip a coin, if heads, the defending Pokemon can't attack during your opponent's next turn. So this attack can only be used when you're in the active position. And I'll go over that when we get into the game. But there are four positions. There's three benches, and then there's one at the top. It kind of goes in like a triangle. There's one at the top, and that's the active position. That's who's gonna be battling each other. Some of the some of the other Pokemons have different abilities. They, they can do stuff without having to be in the active, but for the most part, things happen in the active zone. That's where the magic happens. <laughs> um, so this thing um, doesn't deal any damage. It'll have a damage up here if it deals damage. It has a weakness to water. So if, if this thing gets hit by a, a Pokemon that has a water type, this has a flame type, fire type, this will deal, that, that attack will deal an extra 20 damage. So you have to keep that in mind. You only have one weakness. You know, typically fire would have a weakness to fighting. I mean, not, not to fighting, but to ground um, and, and also water. But in this case, they chose just water. That's just the way the game works. So that's Vulpix. You have to lay down Vulpix first. It is a basic Pokemon. Sorry, I didn't go over that. It is a basic Pokemon. Basic Pokemon, um, you have to play with at least one basic Pokemon in your deck. There are some basic Pokemon that are not just like this kind of like, you know, like a little baby form or what, what, I, what I would call them. You have like Articuno, Mewtwo, they are basic Pokemon. They are, they're basically Pokemon that do not have a, um, they, they can be a Pokemon that does not have an evolutionary change or it starts with that Pokemon. So we also have Ponyta in here as well. Ponyta, you can see, not, doesn't have an effect, it just deals damage. So it only needs one energy one fire energy. Notice Vulpix just needs one energy of any color. It doesn't matter, but you need fire energy specifically for flare and it does 20 damage and it is weak to water. It's also a basic Pokemon. HP is 60 and it has to, and you, if you want to retreat, you have to sacrifice one energy of any color. I haven't seen a Pokemon that requires energy of a specific type to retreat, but, and if I have nine, if I have Vulpix down and then I pass a turn and then I come back and if I have a nine tails in my hand, I can lay nine tails on top of that Vulpix and I can evolve it. And you'll see up here on nine tails stage one. So nine tails is a stage one of this card. And this is what it comes from. It lets you know, like this is the, this is how you go from Vulpix into nine tails. HP 90. If you've lost HP, you will go, you will basically look at this Pokemon's HP and however this, how much this had lost, this will be less by that. It, it, it's a math problem, easy. Fire type, flamethrower. It tells you discard energy from this Pokemon. So it's going to discard a fire energy from this. Basically, you're having to burn energy to deal more damage. Does 90 damage, weakness to water, yada, 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 needs one energy to retreat. Same thing. It's very, very easy to look and see what's going on with these cards. So this is the same thing as the other rapid dash. It's just a, it's just a different variant. Think of it as a different variant. You have potions. These, these are different items down here that we have. So the items you can use as many as you want to every single turn, as long as you have them in your hand. Um, you can only have two of each, by the way, you can only have two rapid dash. You can only have two 
uh, Ponyta to anything. You cannot have more than two copies of any card as of as of yet in in a deck of twenty. Um, X speed will reduce the amount of energy you need in order to retreat. So, you know, earlier I showed you um, Ponyta needs one energy to retreat. If I use an X speed, then my active Pokemon can retreat for one less energy, which means I can retreat for free. Helps you pivot. Pokeballs, remember earlier I was telling you about the basic Pokemon, they will let you pull one basic Pokemon from your deck. So that can be anything that is basic. That can be a Mewtwo that is basic. It can be an Articuno or a Zapdos. Um, it can be a, it, it cannot be a, um, it cannot be a Rapidash because Rapidash is a stage one Pokemon. It cannot be an EX Charizard because Charizard has to evolve to get there. So that's a very important thing to think about. I only have four basic Pokemon in my deck. And when every game starts, you are insured to get at least one basic Pokemon. You have to get one basic Pokemon. The game doesn't work if you don't. So I have a one in, I have a 50, 50 chance of whether I get Ponyta or I get Vulpix whenever the game rolls out because you have to have a Pokemon in the active position for the game to play. If, the, if you don't have an active Pokemon, the game is over. If you only get one base and all of your other bases on the bottom of your deck and they kill that one base you had in your active position, you lose automatically. You don't have to worry about getting three points. You just, they don't have to worry about it. You just lose. That is something you have to keep in mind as well. That's why you have to keep something on the bench if you can afford to, if you think that you're not gonna get killed in that active position. That's where the Pokeballs come in play. You can get some basic, you can pull them directly from your deck, um, but you cannot pull their evolutionary counterparts. You have to pull those later. Professor's Research, this allows you to draw two cards. Pot of Greed, basically. I mean, uh, I think, I don't know exactly what Pot of Greed used to do. I think it just makes you draw two cards. I think that that's just basically what this is. Um, and then we have, oh, these are support. These are not items. You can only use one support every single turn. So if I use Professor's Research and then I get Blaine, I cannot use Blaine. Blaine is a support card as well, and he allows specifically Rapidash, um, Magmar, and Ninetales to deal 30 plus damage. That's all he does. He doesn't do anything else besides that, that one thing. Sabrina is a little bit more flexible. She can be put into multiple decks. She, if I click on her, she, will, she lets you switch out your opponent's active Pokemon to the bench. Now, your opponent has to choose the new active Pokemon. So you can't use this if there's only one card in the active position because it won't work because you can't switch out anything, right? But if they have another Pokemon out there, they are forced to switch into that one Pokemon. If they have two, they can choose. If they have three, they cannot choose whatever three they want to choose. All right, so that's the deck. Um, nothing crazy up here, just ways you can customize it. Um, I'm going to click cancel and save and but that's that's a basic standard deck in Pokemon pocket If I come over here to the battle section go to versus I'm going to random match All right, so now we're gonna have a battle so Cool thing about the battles is um, you have to flip a coin in the beginning just like in football Don't ask me how I know that I played a little bad when I was a kid Basically, what happens is you flip for first or second. If you get first, then the opponent, obviously, if you get heads, then you're going first. If your opponent gets heads, then they're going first. I'm going first. That means a few different things. I'm going to get an extra pull, um, but I see. So notice I only have one basic Pokemon, so I have to play Vulpix. You have to play something first. That's the only way the game goes. They go second. They're gonna get they're gonna get energy first, so they'll be able to attack first. But they also have this deck, which is weird because uh, this is gonna suck. I'm playing against my uh, my uh, my weakness, so I'm weak to them, which really is not cool. But it is what it is. I like to use my Pokeball first because this ensures I get a basic Pokemon. I also have a Professor's Research, but I don't want to pull a basic Pokemon with my my Professor's Research and then miss out on being able to get one of my like good items with my professor's research. <clears throat> so I just got two Ponyta. I'm gonna lay both of them down because I only have four Pokemon. I don't really need, I don't have a reason to like not put it out there. If I want to, I can put Ponyta up front because I'm afraid of this thing killing me. 
I know that he can't, he's not going to be able to deal more than 30 damage next turn, but I don't want my Vulpix getting hit. Vulpix is the power of my team. Rapid Ash is the, um, Rapid Ash is just the, uh, <laughs> The forerunner, kind of, uh, kind of. So if Ponyta dies, I don't care as much. So I want to keep my Vulpix alive because he deals 90 damage versus uh, Rapid Ash's 40. Especially now when we're playing against my weakness. So I have to be careful. Now he's just got a poke. He used the Pokeball, so I know he got a basic. He's going to put it out, probably. Okay, so he's playing with a Star You deck. I'm probably dead. Star, Star You into Star Me is very goaded. It's a very good deck. I wish that I hadn't stayed. I wish I had stayed in now, but there's nothing I can do about that. Um, also, I don't really have a whole lot that I could have done, but I do know that I, if, if I get Blaine in the coming, coming time, I can potentially survive. I'm not gonna put Rapid Ash on that Ponyta though, because I know that Starmie deals 90 damage, but it's going to deal 110 to these because these are fire Pokemon and it's water. So he's going to swap in next turn, probably. Oh, he can't unless he has a unless he has a X speed. He can't swap in without using the energy he needs because he needs two energy to be able to deal the 90 damage on the star. You which is going to be 110. So I'm going to end my turn and I'm going to pray that the son of a bitch does not have he probably does have XP since he put the points on Star You. Hopefully he doesn't. Okay, so he doesn't. But the only thing about that, I can kill Froakie. And I think I kind of have to kill Froakie. Um, I'm going to use my XP. My last XP. I'm going to put rap. I'm, I'm going to take Rapid Ash out. I'm gonna put nine tails in and I'm gonna kill Froakie because the last thing I need is for him to start evolving a bunch of stuff. Um, and we might lose our nine tails, unfortunately, but there's not much I can do. Hopefully he doesn't have Starmie. Um, he's probably gonna put it in right now though, which really sucks, which means he probably does have Starmie and he's gonna kill my nine tails and that's not fun but I don't really have an option. I, I needed to get, I needed to do something. So maybe he doesn't have it. I hope he doesn't. Is he gonna, does he have Professor's Research maybe? And he can pull for it. Nope, he has Lapras coming down. Does he have Starmie though? He does have Starmie, yes. So we are in for, uh, he's gonna kill us. He has more than enough damage to kill us. Nothing I can do though. He's gonna deal 110 damage because, basically because he's my weak, I'm weak to him, right? So nothing I can do about that. I can put in my rapid dash and pray to the guys that I end up getting another nine tails. But this thing also, if you notice, it has no, it has no retreat points. It can get out whenever it wants to. It does not care. That is, that is just it's this whole thing. So I am going to, I'm going to deal like a little bit of damage on this. He hasn't, he's killed one of my Pokemon already. Um, so here is the thing. I, here's the rub. I'm going to deal some damage to this. Not a whole lot, just a little lot. We'll put it into kill range for, for nine tails though, which is good. We don't want that thing. If we kill that now, EX Pokemon, another, another quick tip, EX Pokemon are worth two points instead of being worth one, right? So, so unfortunately I don't have the damage to kill him now. And I think that this is going to be it, perhaps. I can put Vulpix in and then I can swap in, but I don't have, I don't have the energy to survive. So I have to basically Sabrina him right now. And even if I Sabrina him, he'll just put in, he'll just put in his, uh, his Lapras. I can't kill his Lapras. And even if I could kill his Lapras, there's nothing I can do. So 
he's just going to win. There's nothing I can do. Kind of a checkmate situation, but I'll let it play through. You notice he has 100 health. Even if I kill this, I've only killed one of his things. You notice down here on the bottom. Um, and I just don't have the energy to kill him. If I would have gotten a little bit, if I would have gotten a little bit more energy, I could have killed him in one right then and there by taking this out. But I unfortunately do not have it. I'm just gonna click in turn. Maybe he makes a mistake. Who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen? I don't have another Sabrina. If I was him, I would just retreat out and just put, you know, something in. I don't know why he's doing all this stuff. He's gonna retreat, gonna put Stormy EX in. Stormy EX has plenty of energy to kill me. There's nothing I could do though. I had nothing that I could do to come back from this. Once he had his EX Pokemon out, it was kind of over for me. EX Pokemon are very strong. Um, it takes a little bit more, they have a little bit more HP than standard, their standard counterparts. Um, but if you beat them, you, you get two points instead of one. The trouble is beating them. They're pretty powerful right now. I don't know if they're gonna nerf them or what, but that's basically the game. You have some different abilities mixed in here or there. You'll learn over time. Uh, Greninja, once you get the final evolution for Greninja, you don't have to have any power on him, no, no energy. But he can, he can uh, deal 20 damage from the bench or from anywhere with his ability on any Pokemon um, that are in the um, vicinity on your opponent's side. It doesn't matter. He can just deal 20 damage every single turn by triggering his ability. Some Pokemon on the bench can poison the Pokemon that's on the active bench. Um, Hypno doesn't need any energy. He can put Poke he, he can attempt to put Pokemon to sleep. Once he does it, you have to flip. If you flip, I mean, if you, once you do once you do it, you have to flip. If you flip heads, then their Pokemon goes to sleep. But then before their turn, it's going to re-flip again. If they flip heads, then they're gonna wake up. If they flip tails, they stay asleep. And that's the way it goes. But yeah. I just think more people play water because they go for the Mewtwo deck. And I think there's a lot of water cards in the Mewtwo deck. Cause that's what happened to me. I was like, man, damn, I, I got a lot of Mewtwo cards now cause, cause of this. You know, so yeah, electric. I mean, yeah, electric is really good. Fighting is good too. But the mo the ones I see the most is just like water. Like I'm I'm seeing some grass, but I think it's because people are tired of playing some of the other decks. Which is really weird to say. Come on, give me a a rapid dash and a nine tails. Oh, I was close. It was close to what I wanted. I wonder what he has to evolve into. He's got five cards in his hand. I'm, I'd assume he has at least a pokey, pokey research or has the things he needs to evolve. Maybe a, maybe an Ivysaur. Oh, he does have a Lilligent. He's not going to kill. Okay, he has both of them. Okay. But he can't do anything with that Ivysaur. So I'm not super scared. Um, This only takes one to retreat still. I can kill that Lilligent though. I can kill it because I have an X speed. And we can, we can start attacking his um his what you call it before he uh really gets taken off with it so let's go ahead and use our nine tails start hitting the fat this this is an aggro deck so it's very aggressive aggressive lots of lots of power very early on that's his whole thing whereas he's doing a deck that takes you know a lot more time to set up you know so we might be able to deal some more extra damage to him he has to evolve now if he wants to live because I'll kill him next turn. Um, but even if he doesn't do that, maybe he has Erica. Erica can heal him for 50, 50 if he has it. That's a lot. She has the best heal in the game, I think. Best best card heal, but he can basically with, with Venusaur, if he was to use his, um, I forgot what it's called, Overgrow or whatever it's called. No, it's Giant Bloom. 
If he does that, then he can heal himself for 80 in one turn uh, in conjunction with Erica. So I am going, I'm not going to use Blaine right now. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna use Blaine because he won't even be able to kill me. Even if he get, he has to get two more energy to do it. I wanna make sure I have a kill shot on him with Blaine before I do that. So we just did 110 damage. He, if he heals, he's going to heal for 50 and well, unless he has potions and Erica is going to deal. Oh, so he deal, he gets, he gets to a hundred. So what does he have? Is that all he had? No, Erica. Okay, he's he's done for. Man. He's done for only to kill him because he's EX. Um, my voice just cracked. I can deal even more damage with Blaine. Don't need to. It's kind of overkill. But who cares? Oh. So in this case, I just I, I beat him super early because he was never able to like catch up and he loses for two reasons. He has no Pokemon left and he also we also got the prize points. So. But yeah, I hope I hope you really do have a um, a really good understanding of the game now, though, because I don't want anybody to be in here and not understanding what's going on. I do appreciate it, but I like I like to for people to know what's go what's happening. It's very, it's a very good, uh, I'm happy that you asked the question because <laughs> a lot of people will just sit here and stare at the pretty colors, uh, you know? So thank you. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to check out this one right here. And also don't forget to subscribe. Have a great spooktober.